Hi, and welcome to Terry Talks Movies. We're outdoors again in the backyard, and Via Vision Imprint have sent me a bunch of stuff to review. And this month, the imprint videos are fantastic. They're totally in my ballpark. They're totally where I like to play. They're totally where I like to watch movies. There's also a Via Vision collection of television, which I love. I've taken a look at a few episodes so far, and it's just the best of 1970s and 1980s English television. So let's get started. We'll do the Via Vision one first, which is a collection of 12 discs. The English series Roald Dahl's Tales of the Unexpected. This is fantastic. Most of the stories are based on the stories of Roald Dahl, though in the second and third season there were a few that were based on stories from other authors. But these ones have got Roald Dahl introing. He sits down and talks about the stories and, and talks about a little bit of foreshadowing of what's in the story. And the actors are great. They've got tons and tons of interesting, mostly British actors in them. They've got Joan Collins, they've got Richard Johnson, Miriam Margulies turns up in there as well, Derek Jacobi, Brian Blessed, tons of great people, and the tons of great Roald Dahl stories, things like Man of the South, which was previously adapted with Steve McQueen playing the male lead in it back in the 1960s. Stories like Royal Jelly are in there as well, and Georgie Porgy, all of these punchy, macabre Roald Dahl stories are adapted in this. And it's a chunky set. Look at that. 12 discs of really interesting 1970s and leading into 1980 television from England. And I watched Tales of the Unexpected when it was on television. It's got a really great intro montage at the start of each episode and a very distinctive and great music theme written by Ron Grainer. This stuff is, is just the best for me. I, you can, it's great because each episode's about half an hour. You can dip into them. You can see some of the best of English acting at the time from some of the best English actors and actresses telling these stories there and just having a ball doing it. This one should be in your collection. Uh, if you haven't seen it, you should. It does. It is region four. This one. That's region four lock. If you have got a multi-region player, you're gonna love this. It's terrific. I can't recommend it highly enough. The lovely thing is you can tell these stories without enormous budgets and so they were able to do them quite successful without each episode looking cheap. That then brings me to the imprint stuff. I'll do these in numerical order because you know imprint numbers each of their releases. We're up to the 250s at the moment. And then we've got a couple of really good Sam Peckinpah movies in this one as well as a collection I've been waiting for for a long time. We'll start with number 250. One of the later Sam Peckinpah movies set on the Eastern Front during World War II, Cross of Iron, which has Maximilian Schell and James Coburn in it. Now this was a very troubled production because Sam Peckinpah was an alcoholic, I'll be honest, and there were times when they had real trouble getting him to work. And the ending, which even though it is Chef's Kiss Wonderful, was a last minute addition. They they tried, they got to Sam Peckinpah away. You gotta do an ending. And so they pieced together an ending at the end of the film. Flies summertime in Australia. But they did it really well. Now this edition is fantastic. You got three discs. There's your 4K Ultra HD version of it. Which has a lot of extras on it. Now I'm going to turn it over and show you the other side of it. But I'll freeze frame it for a few seconds in the video. So that you can just take a look and see what they are. Because I think that the additions here are terrific. The movie's also got James Mason, David Warner and Santa Burger in it. There's your 4K. And there's also the Blu-ray in there as well which is very cool. Now this is the theatrical version of the movie that everybody saw in the cinemas in 1977. But there's a longer edition, the Grindhouse edition, and here it is on Blu-ray. It's got so many cool extras as well. And there they are, so you can freeze frame those. Nice cover art too, I like the cover art on that one. Very kind of dirty dozen-ish. The thing to remember is that these guys were on the wrong side of World War II. The story's pretty simple. You've got a sergeant played by James Coburn. He's working on the Eastern Front against the Russians. Tough, nasty war. And he suddenly gets an aristocratic wannabe commanding officer played by Maximilian Schell, who's going to get them all killed. And he has to do something about that. 
And so there's a bit of class warfare in there as well as the much larger warfare of the Eastern Front World War II. Really interesting subject matter and Sam Peckinpah was great for that sort of thing. But this release is one that is really needed. And getting the two editions, the Grindhouse one and the theatrical one, plus a 4K and Blu-ray. This is terrific. And remember, these ones are not region locked. Of course, the 4K isn't. But even the Blu-rays are not region locked, so you can watch them as well. Forged in the fires of hell and tempered in the blood of battle. Imprint have gone extra to do this. Adding the Grindhouse edition, 4K Blu-ray and an extra Blu-ray with the Grindhouse edition, which is the one I'm going to watch first. So looking forward to that one. Then we get the film focus for this month. Film focus is a box set that Imprint do every month featuring a certain actor or actress. There were Jessica Lange previously and Jennifer Connelly and Eugene Hackman. And this one is from the 60s and 70s. Film focus George Pappard. And it's got four great George Pappard action films from the 60s and 70s. I already had two of these on American Blu-rays. The four of them I didn't have. There's a front. On the back you've always got a quote from the actor and there's the one from George Pappard. Again, you've got these nice cigarette box editions which i really love and on the back there's your card with all the extras and the four films newman's law road cop movie from 1974 this is around the same time he did banner check really great george papad with a machine gun what more do you need to know he's a hard-nosed la cop he's booted from duty for being falsely accused of extortion he goes rogue to investigate organized crime and a conspiracy Terrific stuff, no reversible artwork, but a really nice interior case there, and a good bit of artwork on the disc. Then from 1970, we've got one which has an interesting co-stars, Joan Collins, Judy Geese, and Oscar Homolka, Charles Gray, Keith Wishell, George Baker, and Nigel Patrick. Set in England, the executioner. Every day he lives, somebody else dies, it says on the back. It was directed by Sam Watermaker, an actor turned director, who was one of the characters in Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. So that's kind of interesting. I like Sam Watermaker as a director and as an actor for that matter. And The Executioner is one of his joints. There's the back cover. There are no extras on this one. The movie itself, good solid action film. I've seen it a long time ago on VHS and I am really looking forward to revisiting it. Then we've got one which actually gets visually checked in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood because Margot Robbie playing Sharon Tate walks past the cinema marquee where this film is showing and it is Pendulum from 1969 which is a really interesting one. Josh Papa plays a police captain who risks his, risks his life to catch a young rapist and murderer but the psychopath gets set free by a legal problem and starts going for him and his family and he has this moral quandary about the rule of law versus his need for revenge really interesting little film it also stars gene seberg and richard kiley an actor i like a lot playing the defense lawyer terrific small film it's one of those universal second tier movies that they did in the 60s and 70s which were a little more risky than most of the universal output and they could talk about things that couldn't be talked about on television and pendulum is a movie i'm really fond of i like that then we've got a private eye film set in new york it also stars gail honeycomb raymond burr playing the villain wilfred high white brock peter susan and james directed by edward j montaigne pj now if you want a good solid 1968 action film this is the one to go for it works incredibly well i really liked it when i watched the american dvd version that i had but this one you should definitely check out so there's the box set i like those solid action films solid george peppard films made in the 1960s and 1970s when he was at the peak of his movie career and was phasing into television with things like Banachek and that ultimately of course led to the A-Team but I love this particular box set it's in my comfort zone of movie watching after my nephew who is visiting with us at the moment he's 13 leaves I'm going to binge those all in one day and just have a terrific time of it and yes I mean I like George Papad as an actor so really in love with that now it prints next one is a movie I saw into the cinemas when it came out and I've loved ever since. It's romantic, it's tough, it's gritty, it's grimy, it's solid action. And it stars one of the best character actors of America in the 20th century. 
Bring me the head of Alfredo Garcia on Blu-ray in a box set. This is terrific. I've got other versions of this, but this is the one which I'm going to go out on a limb and say is definitive. Morad plays a hero, a kind of lovable loser, who gets tasked with getting the head of a guy. He's got to get the head, bring it back to the person who hires him, and he goes on this weird, dark journey, driving through the Mexican countryside with a severed head in the Hessian bag, sitting in the car seat next to him. He has a girlfriend, played by Yacela Vega, and she gets some really great scenes. There are some romantic scenes between the two characters. There are some scenes of kind of gritty realism to do with those two characters, which I'm not going to spoil it for you, but I found really memorable and really nuanced it and well done. Now, it is the back of it with all of the extras on it, and there are a ton of them. And I'll show you the disc for it, because I want to show you the extras as well. There's your disc for the movie itself, and there's a second disc in here. Nice cover art. There's all of your extras on the back, and there's your inside cover. Nice release. And not only do you get that, you get a second disc. Passion of Poetry, The Ballad of Sam Peckinpah which is a documentary about the career and life of Sam Peckinpah. Peckinpah is a director I really like. His Killer Elite, which is also released on imprint, is one of my favourite action films of the 70s. And there are a bunch of extras on that as well. Really nice package on that one. And I knew I wanted to have Bring Me the Head of Alfredo Garcia in this edition because there are so many extras. And even though I've got the movie already, and in fact I, I had it on DVD... I had it on Blu-ray. This version for me does it. This era of action film flight, 60s and 70s, the George Foot parts of Peck and Par, and particularly Bring Me the Head of Alfredo Garcia, are movies that I really like. They're where I came from at the start of my journey as a film buff. And to have a prestige edition with your cigarette box case is fantastic for me. I just love this particular month of releases from Imprint. And I can't speak highly enough about them. Thank you very much to Imprint who gave me these for review. You're doing good work, people. I mean, I just love what they're doing. I love how deeply they go into the movies and the background and the cultural context of all these films. It's just terrific stuff. It's a good month. I had a great day the other day because my nephew turned up to visit and Billy is a wonderful kid. We love having him over. He brought me a kilo of really good coffee beans, which is another bonus. And then I got a box with all this stuff in it. It was one of the best days I've had in a while. Now, I do have two other things from Viavision, which are science fiction related. And I'm going to do them for science fiction Saturday this week and go through them. I watched one of them and the other one I know incredibly well. But they're definite cool releases and you should get them as well. But as I said, I'll talk about them on the Science Fiction Saturday video this week. This one is, is really a fine selection of movies that hit my sweet spot so powerfully. Uh, I can't stop smiling when I think about them. So thanks a lot for watching. If you, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Hit the notification bell. You can also support the channel by donating either as a channel member, and there'll be a little button underneath the video showing you how to do that, or you can become a patron at patreon.com slash terrytalksmovies. There are so many good things coming out from Imprint and Viavision at the moment that I could just sit down endlessly and watch. Just hook me up to a life support system, keep my eyes open like Alex in Clockwork Orange, and I would be a happy man as long as I had caffeine. But on that somewhat gruesome note, watch some good movies. Don't watch any bad movies because there are so many good movies at the moment, and I'll catch you next time.